I'm Dr. Constantin Wasonga, National Secretary General Owasu. I want to say that as a union, we are in support of what the council has done. And I want to interpret that letter to one Professor Mbithi. The council has technically told you to go and go forever. Don't be cheated that they have given you leeway to apply. Because if you are performing well, they could have renewed your term automatically. That is a polite way of telling you to go and go forever. Our members have suffered immensely under your leadership. You are one vice chancellor who was not remitting, started to reduce. You are one vice chancellor who made professors leave this university without, without their pension. You are one vice chancellor who was not even paying union dues to the tune of 24 million. I want to wish you well wherever you go. Thank you very much, but don't come back. Kwa jina naitwa Mohamed Mwachiti. Mimi ni naibu wa mwekazina wa kitaifa wa chama cha wafanyikazi uh, kinachoitwa UASU, University's Academic Staff Union. Kwa siku ya leo kwetu ni siku ya furaha. Nafikiri mkiangalia hata nyuso zetu leo zina meta meta. Si kama kawaida wakati mnavokuja tukiwa nyuso ambazo zimekunjana. Kama wasimamizi wafanyikazi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi mwanzo tungetaka kushukuru Jopo la wajiri wa chuo chetu kikuu cha Nairobi. Jopo la wajiri wa wafanyikazi wa umma la kitaifa. Pia tungeshukuru wizara yetu kuu ya elimu, sayansi na teknolojia. Na washikadau wengine katika serikali yetu tukufu inayoongozwa na uh, mheshimiwa Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta kwa kumtuma nyumbani naibu ya kiongozi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi ambaye alikuwa ameshindwa kuongoza chuo hiki ni furaha kwetu kwamba vile anavyoenda aende salama na akaribishwe vizuri kule anakoenda ili asahau kwamba alikuwa hapa asije akawa nakumbuka kwa maana tukimuona hapa si tunaona shida tu kitendo hiki cha serikali kumtuma nyumbani naibu wa mkuu wa chuo ni mwanzo tu wa kurekebisha matatizo ambayo yamekuwa nakumba chuo hiki. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru kwamba mwanzo mpya umeanza lakini hatutaki kusherehekea mapema kwamba tumefika. Tunataka bado mabadiliko yaendelee ili chuo chetu kirudi pale kilipokuwa. Tumekuwa tukikumbwa na matatizo kadha wa kadha katika chuo hiki. Ikiongozwa na ufisadi, ukabila na matatizo mengi, matatizo chungu nzima tumekuwa na vituko kwamba wafanyikazi wa kiwango cha juu wanaoitwa profesa wanapolazwa hospitalini chuo kinashindwa kulipia wa profesa ili wao wanaweza kutoka wakati uh, wamepata matibabu wafanyikazi hao wengine wamezuiliwa wanakaa hata wiki tatu ndio baadaye wafanyikazi wengine wanachanga ili waweze kusaidia wengine katika pilka pilka za kuhamishwa kutoka hospitali hii kupelekwa ingine kwa sababu hawajakubaliwa kwa maana chuo kinajulikana kwamba kina historia ya kutolipa wanakufa njiani kwa hivyo tunafurahi kwamba mambo haya yametendeka sasa kwa sababu ni mwanzo wa mambo mapya ambapo pia yatafaidi wafanyikazi wa chuo hiki chuo hiki kinahitaji mabadiliko mengi Na kwa hivyo serikali tunaiomba itushike mkono iendelee kutusaidia jopo letu la uajiri lisimame imara lihakishe yule anayekuja ni mtu ambaye ataweza kututoa katika shimo hili la giza tumekuwa kwa shimo la giza kwa muda mrefu na hata ukiangalia mara nyingi hata mnavokuja wana habari hapa mnaona nyuso za wafanyikazi vile zilivyo leo ni siku ya furaha kwetu 
Kwa hivyo tungetaka mabadiliko haya yaendelee na kama wasimamizi wafanyikazi tutakodoa macho tuhakishe kwamba haturudi mahali tulipotoka. Asante. I want to say that in 2014 around December Professor Mbithi inherited a very vibrant university. You cannot compare 2014, December, and now. This university has been run down completely. And I want to say, you cannot run a university the way Professor Mbithi has run this university. I hear he's talking about global ranking. How can he boast about global ranking while the students and uh, workers are not happy? It is very sad that professors at the University of Nairobi do not have even a functional medical scheme. When professors are admitted, they are detained in hospital. There are professors in the university that have left the service without their pension. It is very sad indeed. And I really sympathize with the people who think that Professor Mbithi has worked. I saw he was talking about these pension towers. These towers, these towers, we know the person who built it? He just inherited it. How I wish he knew the bitterness. Workers and students have. I want to say that this will even apply to other VCs. The University Academic Staff Union will not support any VC who mismanages a university. The University Academic Staff Union will not support any VC who does not remit statute reduction. Because even the workers in these public universities, they also have their children. How do you feel that you are being deducted and your money is not remitted to the bank? There are peep members of staff here who have been listed in CRB. Because their money has been deducted and it has not been remitted. I want to say, as University Academic Staff Union, we want to wish Professor Mbithi well. But let him not try to come back here. There's a second.